Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make a warm compress for your breasts. I'm going to show you how to use different things that you have um, around your home to make a warm compress for your breasts for breastfeeding or pumping. Um, if you're new here, my name is Gines. I'm a lactation consultant, IBCLC. If you find value in this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos. Before I begin with the different options, I want to cover the benefits of using a warm compress on your breasts um, when breastfeeding or pumping. Um, a warm compress helps promote milk flow, it encourages um, your milk ducts to, to open up, um, it has a therapeutic effect, especially if you have uh, clogged ducts or mastitis or breast engorgement, a warm compress will really help ease um, and resolve um, those breastfeeding challenges. So let's begin. My favorite uh, warm compress, if possible or when possible, is skin to skin with your baby. Skin to skin has so many benefits for baby and mom that it's incredible. Um, so skin to skin kind of like um, stimulates and releases that oxytocin um, hormone, which is a breastfeeding hormone responsible for the release of milk. So it's that feeling good hormone, that love hormone. So skin to skin is the number one warm compress. Um, anything that we're gonna talk about later in the video is trying to imitate that skin to skin um, effect when it comes to increasing and encouraging milk flow. So number two is using a washcloth. Um, you could soak it out with warm water and then place it on your breast as a warm compress. The only thing about using a washcloth is that it loses heat rather quickly. So instead of a washcloth, I recommend um, number three, which is using a diaper. Using a diaper will really hold in heat much longer. And the way you do it is you're going to fill a diaper with hot water make sure your water is hot or you could put some um, cold water in the microwave and heat it, heat it up and then you're gonna fill it up and then um, make sure it's not dripping and then you're gonna place it over your breast and this you could go straight on the skin because it's moist heat um, ideally we want to use moist heat because it's more effective okay so you could place it in whatever area you need to target or just kind of like on top okay of um on on your breast you might use one you might use two one for each breast and it's de depending on what you wish to do okay uh, something that I want to cover is for warm compresses that you're um, you're applying. Ideally, you want to do it for 15-20 minutes, but it really depends on how much you you have, how much time you have to apply the warm compress. Okay, so this is the diaper hack um, DIY um, warm compress. Taking a warm shower is definitely a great option uh, before breastfeeding or before pumping to increase milk flow and release body tension. The sound of the shower could be very therapeutic, so definitely something to consider. Next, let's say that you have some single socks that you don't know what to do with. So um, you could use a sock to make a rise sock for as a warm compress so then you could fill the sock with rice some people use beans i like to use rice and we're gonna fill it three quarters high okay and then so you could use a large spoon or you could use a measuring cup and put some rice so depending on how big you want the compress that's how much rice you're gonna put in okay at the end we're gonna tie it up and it should look like this okay so it should look like this and then we're going to heat it up in the microwave for about 45 seconds and I like to add a cup of water alongside with the sock inside the microwave just to add some moisture okay and then you apply it 
and you apply it for about 15, 20, 20 minutes, no more than 20 minutes. And then, you know, and you could use it in different, different areas of your body. And it's a wonderful uh, warm compress, especially for breastfeeding or pumping, okay? Next up is a hot water bottle, okay? So you're gonna take a regular bottle that you have in your house and you're gonna fill it up with hot water, okay? You wanna make sure it's closed tightly and then you'll apply uh, on your breast. I like to apply it always on the top here, okay? Not directly on your nipple or areola, but more like on top, all right? for about 15, 20 minutes. If you could do 10 minutes, you do 10 minutes. It depends on your, on how much time you have. So let's say you don't wanna make your own warm compress for the for your breast. You'd rather just buy one. My top recommendation are these. Um, these are the Lancinol Thera Pearl Breast Therapy. These are gel packs. Um, these provide um, moist heat as well and they're three in one you could use them as a warm compress you could use them as an um, ice pack and I really I like them because they conform to your to your breast they come with these little covers so you put it inside and it'll look like this you could clip them over your flange while you're pump so you save time and you could do heat therapy while pumping at the same time you could check my video on how to pump and get the most milk i'll link it somewhere here and um, i'll link these in the description another gel pack that you could use that acts similar to the lancinol therapearl is are these gel packs that are reusable and there are two in one you could use them as a warm compress and also as a cold compress so if you have these at home you could definitely use them for um, as a warm compress for your breast another thing that you could use if you have at home for a warm compress for your breast is a heating pad okay you could use a heating pad you know this is rather la um, large but if you have a smaller one or um, you want to be careful because with a heating pad that is connected, um, you want to follow the printed instructions on the package um, so you don't burn yourself. Okay, so safety first. So you could definitely use a warm um, a heating pad as a warm compress. You just want to do it safely. I hope this video was helpful in terms of giving you ideas on what to use as a warm compress for your breasts. And if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone that could benefit from this information. And uh, consider subscribing to the channel for more breastfeeding and pumping tips. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.